In every aspect, Epictetus faced overwhelming challenges two millennia ago in Hierapolis. Born into slavery, he was denied even a proper name. Epictetus merely signified acquired one. Subjected to torture, the fruits of his labor plundered, his body mistreated akin to a horse ridden into the ground then discarded. Unjustly exiled, he confronted unimaginable adversity and hardship. Nevertheless, Epictetus emerged triumphant by reframing his perspective. Rather than viewing life as a sequence of horrors, he saw it as an array of boundless opportunities. A podium and a prison are each a place, he asserted, one high and the other low. Yet, in either place, your freedom of choice can be preserved if you desire. Every event has two handles, he reasoned, one by which it can be carried and one by which it can't. Epictetus deliberately concentrated on what he could control, his opinions, values, desires, and self-perception, disregarding the rest. Surveying the influential figures in Nero's court where he toiled, Epictetus discerned an intriguing truth. Despite being a slave, he was more liberated than many. The powerful were enslaved to ambition, pleasure, attention. Their minds adrift, easily diverted, wounded by trivial slights, entangled in petty grievances, leading unfulfilling lives. Seeking knowledge under Stoic master Musonius Rufus, Epictetus eventually secured his freedom. Becoming a mentor to Rome's brightest minds, including future Emperor Hadrian, his ideas resonated with Marcus Aurelius. A man of meager influence was now shaping the destinies of the world's most powerful individuals for the better. Epictetus teaches us more than endurance and resilience. He imparts the ability to cultivate a meaningful life irrespective of circumstances. Circumstances don't make the man, he contended. They only reveal him to himself. Stoics argue that life resembles a play, and individuals can only excel in their assigned roles, learning to relinquish the rest. We don't control our birthplace, parentage, or others' treatment, but we wield authority over our actions with the materials at our disposal. While much remains beyond our control, we possess more agency than commonly perceived. Through determination and skill, we can learn to shape our destinies, not just control them, crafting a stellar performance in our current roles, whatever they may be. I hope you appreciate this narrative. If you enjoyed this content, I recommend subscribing. Take care of yourself. Stay strong.